Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring in the guy who's watching a um, weather map that has a lot of uh, dots on it all over the place, but uh, none of those dots appear to be uh, on us. Good morning there, Pat. Uh, what dots are they? Oh, I see those little dots down there in the Caribbean and stuff like that. You know, oh, yeah. That's not going to work. No, 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 no. But uh, that's what I mean. It's, uh, it's busy every place else, but it doesn't look too busy over us. No, it doesn't. There is a front near Toronto this morning that we are watching. It's a little bit more robust than I gave it uh, any credit for, which leads me to think that um, there may be a little bit more in the way of shower and thunderstorm activity around late today and early tonight. We shall see as the front buckles and moves this way. So right now, the leading edge of the showers uh, over the western half of Lake Ontario. Uh, they're in the Buffalo region, uh, approaching Rochester, New York. So they have a ways to get here. And that's my my thinking. If it's kind of robust right now, uh, with some sun over our region, by the time it gets here, uh, they could build. So I would not doubt, even though it's not in the forecast, I would not doubt if we get some showers and thunderstorms late today and early tonight. We could use the rain anyhow. But, you know, all right, let me let me. Um, let me continue to go through this um, uh, this forecast because then it clears tonight. We're back into the 40s, 45 to 50. As we move into um, Friday, it's going to be a nice sunny day. Uh, high temperatures in the mid-70s. Your Saturday, partly cloudy. And there could again be some showers, if not late in the day, Saturday, Saturday night. Sunday, uh, could be an early morning shower. Otherwise, clouds will mix with sun. And the highs will be in the low to mid 70s. And Monday and Tuesday look beautiful, sunny skies, and in the 70s. So, uh, really, just a couple of fronts that we're watching uh, that may cause a couple of showers. But for the most part, no big deal. Now, I have a question for you. Uh oh, Mr. question, question. Mr. Miles, All right. don't you think it is about time, wait well, to hear the answer for this, folks, that you have somebody to fill in? When you're not feeling good. Well, I do. I have a computer, but I, I, that, that, but I could set the computer up to do stuff like that. But, uh, but that, that, that's what we have. <laughs> why can't we? Why can't we uh, get a physical person to stand by? And can, cause I'm thinking along the lines, you know, you weren't feeling good yesterday and the day before. I mean, just say, God forbid, um, you know, you you really, uh, for some reason, got sick which I doubt very highly. Um, you need somebody to fill in for you. We have somebody that can come in and, uh, and that can that can that can come in uh, on a real real emergency basis like when I had all the surgeries uh, uh right. 3 3 and a half to 5 years ago. Uh, we have someone who can do that but uh, other than that uh, no unless somebody wants to come up with uh, <laughs> some money to help pay for that person. <laughs> yeah, pay for that person. Yeah. That's the problem, yeah. isn't it? Well, you know, yeah, because I figured Jill, I don't think Jill no, uh, no, 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 could, no. Uh, could come rushing in to do it. Although Jill, but, um, Jill, but there's another thing. See, Jill does all the business side of it, of, of this. Right, Plus, right. she also sets up programs. I implement everything and, and do air work. So that's what makes it so that, that, that's what makes it so good. So uh, it's just what it, it is, what it is, Pat. Yeah, yeah. It is well, what it thank is. God. Uh, all these years working with you. Uh, aside from when you had the surgery, um, you have been batting a thousand. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's you, you want to hope that it continues, but <laughs> the, every year goes by. <laughs> yeah, you have you have you add a different doctor to your list, right? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? That's uh, pretty amazing. I felt so bad. My dog had uh, Georgia had uh, two teeth extract two uh, two of her teeth extracted yesterday. And uh, she came home at seven o'clock last night and just went on the dog bed and didn't move all night. So I, I spent the night out there with, uh, with uh, her brother LJ, and they, they, we all we all we all slept around her. So she felt uh, so she, she felt, felt right. okay. But, but but still, I mean, I woke up like every thirty minutes checking her out, making sure she was all right because she's still in pain a lot. And this morning, uh, she moved around a little bit, but. Uh, but so I, I, I would, I, I did, I got sleep, but it was uh, not restful sleep because I was worried about the dog last night. But she came through it all right. So, uh, do you think? Um, 
I was just going to say, do you think she'll be, be like on the men today? Yeah, she's not going to have to. She can't have solid anything solid for ten days. So we got. Why is ten days? Yeah, well, of course she had surgery. They had to actually, you know, there's oh. stitches, there's stitches and everything like that. No, there's stitches and everything like that. No, yeah. So so she gets to eat mush for 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 ten days. Well, okay, but at least she gets to eat that. Yeah, and then her brother That's goes in for uh, for a dental checkup uh, after all this goes away. So. <laughs> I know it doesn't end. People, people that don't have pets have no idea. No. Uh, you know, it's it's not like you, you know you walk them a few times a day and you feed them and that's it. Uh, there's a lot of a uh, lot of care that goes into it. Yeah, Shirley goes um, next week. Next week she goes for her yearly physical and she gets all her shots. This year I opted not to get the I don't know the name of it. Um, what's the uh, the shot that they give them? Uh, when they um, go to uh, groomers and stuff like that, uh, not a shot. It's the powder that they put in their nose. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the name of. I opted like. not to do that because, first of all, she doesn't go to a groomer. The groomer comes here. Uh, you know, it's a mobile groomer, yeah. and uh, and she's really not around any dogs. Uh, so if I don't have to put anything into her body that doesn't belong there, I'm not doing it. That's it. That's smart. That's very yep. smart. Not doing it. That's very smart. So, all right. So now, uh, once again, yes. uh, this morning, it's, at least it was a, de it's a decent temperature-wise this morning. Uh, what's, what's, what, 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 this thing's got to be. It's not 66 right now. It can't be. can't be 66 here, can it? Uh, I will find out for you in a second. I can't. I, no. I doubt that very highly. I, um, I doubt it, too. Uh, no way. No, it's, um, it should, right be now, like, should be like Bradley, 50, 50. Bradley's coming in at 50. Yeah. Uh, Poughkeepsie's coming in at 52. And somewhere, uh, you should be somewhere between 50 and 55. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, one of the thermometers says, one of the thermometers does say uh, 51. That's correct. That's so, the one that's correct. So uh, every once in a while, I have to reset this, this uh, thermometer by taking all the batteries out. Unplugging the power, putting the batteries back in, and plugging it back in, and waiting to decide to see if it'll come back up. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, give me the old-fashioned thermometer. <laughs> yeah, just, really. Just, um, just hung outside so, your window. Uh, yeah, so in the meantime, I have to tell you that um, they are doing, uh, I, they're progressing so nicely with the walkway. Um they are about 75% down the walkway. They're about 25% left. And he was telling me yesterday, I was talking to him, you know, none of the uh, mortar is in there yet. Uh, so everything is in there. And he said, he said, and once I power wash these stones, he said, wait till you see uh, the different colors. He said, because right now there's a lot of uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, dust from, from them cutting the, uh, the stone and everything like that. Um, and he thinks that um, they may be able to wrap it up, if not uh, tomorrow, Monday, which is incredible when you think about it. A week and the other guy started in May and hadn't finished as of August. So it's pretty incredible when you know what you're doing. That's what I could say. Yeah. You know, um, I, I finished watching uh, – a, a, a TV segment that came out in 2016 in England, You, Me, and the Apocalypse. Hilarious. Okay. Hilarious and funny and serious at the same time. Uh, yeah. and, and they only did one season of it. So now I'm on to uh, uh, the new season of Jack Ryan. I haven't started it yet, but I'll start that sometime tonight or tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I don't watch very much TV other than that, other than these things that, that show up uh, on, uh, on, the, uh, on the stick. On the stick, that's what I watch. On the stick, that's what you watch, huh? Yeah, that's it. So you got to start watching some of these things once your filming uh, is over. This, uh, this, uh, this. When month the here, filming's Pat. over, yeah. I mean, nothing this weekend, so a little bit of a break. But you're right. When the filming's over, uh, then I'll be able to sit down and watch some of this stuff. All right, uh, Richard Solon says it's 49 in Sheffield. 49 right now in Sheffield. I believe it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's what I hate about this time of year. It's cold in the morning, and then it's warm in the afternoon. Right, so you have to wear a jacket in the morning and nothing in the afternoon. No, I don't wear a jacket. The hell with a jacket. 
I'm just, you know, I'm I'm just a little chilly in the morning. That's all. Uh, <laughs> no. uh, all right, Pat, I'll speak to you manana. Yes, have a great, great, great day, Marshall. You too, Pat. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. I'm Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center here on Robin Hood Radio.